Hello guys, welcome back. It's logical as always. Yes, I have been away from Predecessor for a hot second. Can anybody guess why? It was because the Elden Ring DLC dropped. I, I think that's all that needs to be said. We will be jumping back into the Predecessor content after the, the week after this patch because, as says, I still have... I'm still playing catch up, guys. Just give me a bit of time, please. I'm playing catch up because I, I was on a really sturdy schedule there for a long time, and then all of a sudden things just got on top of me, so it did. So, had to take a break. It was just, th just so much got on top of me, so it was just like, right, break time. So, yeah, we're back at it. Um, as I says, I'm still doing Elden Ring shenanigans, and I'm going to be doing predecessor shenanigans on top of the Elden Ring shenanigans, but we're going to be doing the patch notes simply so I can get uh, my head somewhat wrapped around what's going on in the game at the moment. As I says, it wasn't particularly devious beforehand, so I wonder what they've done. So, obviously, you've got Terra, who would be your sort of... I say, I say solo lane jungle, but she also has some very interesting support potential too, so... All fairies at that stage. I am. Um, I let you do that though yourself. I already because I played Paragon. I already sort of looked at it, and I already know somewhat what she's able to do. The new Terra Griffin skin looks absolutely lovely. I'm sorry, but the Mecha Iggy and Scorch Mecha Terror is absolutely god tier. And then you got the Ruby Scarab Sarth skin, so very nice. And uh, moving on past that, there. What are we looking at here? That there's the occult package, Scarab package. Deals, I want to get into the patch notes. Summer skin sales, okay. Uh, da -da -da. Gameplay balance changes, so what's the overview? Jungle XP increased in the mid game. Jo jungle objectives gain additional physical armor. Critical strike damage increased from 150 to 155. That's dangerous, especially on carries. Let me just be very clear on that. All heroes gain additional physical armor growth. So uh, everybody's a bit more tanky, okay. Uh, Outlier hero adjustments including Grim, Muriel, Gideon and more, okay, further on hit item adjustments, okay, a general uh, reduction in damage for various item effects, okay, and frontline support item stat increases, okay, that's that's pretty good, right, so that was the base one, minions, like I said, minions are so, so, like, it's, this stuff only really, really drags in whenever you're at an extremely high level of play, aka high ranked. It only really sort of takes effect at, at, at extremely high levels of play because it's... You're micromanaging your camps and shit, so you are. So, general bonus, um, all heroes gain... 35 additional armor, uh, physical armor growth, and all range gain 125. Okay. Or not 125, 025. So that there is actually, it's not a great increase, but then for some of, the, some of the heroes that do actually have naturally high growth, like this has just been added on to all the heroes. So it's quite interesting. So Argos, nerfs plus buffs. So Dread Nova got nerfed, and then Particle Shredder got buffed. Okay. At least that's something. Aurora is an interesting one. So monster damage cap decreased from 10, 10 to 4 to 6 to 3. Ow! Her clear got hamstringed. Absolute hamstringed. Horror Frost cooldown increased. Thank fuck. Boreal sweep damage decreased. Magical scaling increased. Oh, right. So they just sort of. They nerfed it overall but increased the magical scaling. Okay. And the cryos. Cryosism. Damage decreased, power scaling increased, okay. Explosion damage decreased, explosion magical power in scaling increased, and then cooldown increased as well. Good, because that was... She could end a team fight with one ult. Like, it's it, 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 it's it's actually fucking nutty how absolutely devastating she can be. Counter, shadow slip damage increased, and blade siphon healing increased. Countess got buffed. Let me be very clear here. Countess didn't need a fucking buff, okay? Countess was outright fucking broken from the get-go. So, Countess being buffed annoys me. Because Countess already done fucking hefty damage. Like, if she caught you in a 1v1, you were dead. Okay? So, the fact that she's getting buffed bothers me a bit. Crunch! Relieving a couple of issues from the looks of it. Um, right Crunch, which is his secondary. Right Crunch is his... Is that not his uh, punch? Like his little fucking uppercut? 
So it is. Um, so hit range increased by 10%. Okay. And power hit range decreased by 15%. That balances it out a bit more. I like that. That that That's good. Drongo gets an attack speed increase. Are you fucking nutty? And then Wastelander passive bug fix. Now correctly apply, applies when rad rounds are active and a critical strike occurs. So Wastelander was bugged. Okay. Drongo's now officially going to be top car uh, one of the top carries because... The entire point of his kit is hitting rad rounds with weight slander and just bombing down your opponent. The, the attack speed really does help too. Fang Mao! Safeguard, shield decrease, thank fuck, because he was way too fucking tanky in the early game. Hamstring, reaping dash, cooldown refunds decreased from, to, yeah, it stops him from going around. And then Earth Shatter, now this was a big one, actually threshold decreased, so it was, and then the hitbox height decreased, hitbox Height by 40%. So, can you jump over it now? Is that what that's saying? No way. Unless he just doesn't jump as high. What does it say up here? Decreased his running strength and reduction to his safeguard ability while no longer receiving such good memory fun on looping slash. Better allowing to punish. Punished if he should dash in carelessly. Okay, okay. Gideon! Gideon got nerfed in the last one, I believe. He did. Right, general mana decreased from 1.4 to 1.2. Ouch. Cosmic Rift damage decreased again. Ouch. Magical scaling decreased again. Ouch. Black hole. Oh, nerfed again. Pulse strength decreased by 10%. Ouch. And now has a 0 0.5 second delay before beginning to pull enemies. Mmm, that's... Ow, that's going to be painful. Gideon has now got absolutely screwed. Uh, Gideon was, regardless... To, the thing is, though, regardless of what way you look at Gideon, Gideon is always going to be a strong contender. No matter what... Sorry, excuse me, I'm having my coffee. Gideon is always, always, always a strong contender, no matter what way you swing it. This here will bring him down a bit. But that ultimate black hole will still, regardless, be a very, very, very dominant fucking alt. Grim, possibly one of the most busted carries in the entire game. Pulse fire, passive, damage decrease from 15 to 10. Ouch, displacement blood, dis displacement blast primary. Uh, damage decreased again. Ouch, assault mode, total physical power scaling decreased again. Total magical power scaling decreased again. Mana cost increased and mana storage charge for mana restore. All right, so that there got nerfed as well and nerfed again. So Grim got dumpstered. Nice. Grooks! Omnivamp decreased, thank fuck, because um, Grooks on Omnivamp was way too strong at times, so it was smash and grab, damage decrease, double pain, total physical scar total physical scaling, <sighs> decreased from 120 to 110, okay, Warlord Sands, power scaling, steel decreased again, and cooldown increased, so he got hit again, Grooks has been, Gro Grooks is another one of those ones that just, y y y you need to put him down quickly. If Grooks gets going, you are so very level, so many levels are screwed. Howitzer missile cooldown cooldown increased. Okay, that's not too bad. In cooldown increased. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. Howitzer's missile just hits way too fucking hard. Iggy and Scorch. This is an odd one that I I was expecting to get hard nerfed because he is oddly tanky for a mage. So his health got nerfed. His mana got nerfed. Flame turret. Cooldown decreased. Okay. So you can chuck more turrets out. Turrets health magical escape. The turrets have also have been nerfed. And the magical armor on the turrets have been nerfed as well. Oil spill. Burn damage decreased. Molotov magical damage scaling decreased again. Inferno damage decreased. Again, another character who got dumpstered. Because if you fought a good Iggy and Scorch, you were so many levels of screwed. There wasn't even a polite way to say it. You were just screwed. So, yes, I'm happy with that there. Kalari! Attack speed increase and attack speed increase. So, Kalari's got a buff. A very simple buff. I don't know if the attack speed really helps, because I think Kalari's just meant to hit hard once and go. Kara! Bonus damage per stack decreased. Nerfed. Uh, Dusk, primary cooldown change from 12 to a gradual... Okay, that's balancing it. 
Mercy, damage decreased. Expected total uh, physical power scaling decreased as well. So again, nerfed. Um, purge on hit modifiers decreased from 25 to 20. Ouch. Quang. Quang's something that you don't see very often. I'm not going to lie. Quang's not something you see very often. General passive mana growth increased from 44 to 50. Nice. Strike the heavens damage decreased from 18 plus 5 per level to 14 to 5 per level. Oof. Judgment of the heavens cooldown decreased. Nice. Light of the heavens shield decreased from okay, so enough to the shield shield max in, well, an increase as well. Uh, shield max health scaling from six, okay, so a bit more of a balance there. Bug fix now currently grants two passive stacks when used immediately after throwing the okay. Fury of the heavens damage increased. Nice power scaling increased. Nice. The he did have a big unga bunga ult. Problem was is the big Unga Bunga ult never hit hard enough. So it didn't. Bellica Health increased. Okay. Void Bomb. Magical Power Scaling increased. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Bellica's going to become very strong. Bellica always has been strong. Both in so uh, both I've seen her in solo lane. Both in mid lane and support. She is very strong. So this is just going to help her out a good bit too. Morgesh needs more nerfs. Uh, cooldown increased again. Scaling Power decreased again. Yeah, her mark was just too... Her mark was just a problem, la. Her mark was just a problem. Like Morgesh is still, regardless of what way you swing, it's still one of the most aggressive mid laners. And I think it was just a Kerber and solo lane as well. Because her solo lane pressure was absolutely monstrous. Morgesh was simply something you did not want to fuck with. Muriel! Now, she's an interesting one because I don't actually hold her in very high regard due to the fact that she does have a tendency of either she'll save one she'll save one of your one of your teammates but let the other one die. Mana regen decreased. Okay. Sentinel damage decreased. Okay. Power scaling decreased. Okay. So, basically, she's not a carry anymore. So, right. Okay. Decrease, decrease, decrease. Uh, re uh, reversal of forging. Decrease, increase. Decrease, increase, and knock-up height decreased by 10% as well. So, she's been curbed, I think is the accurate way to say that. She's been curbed because I did see videos of her being absolutely monstrous in mid lane, which made it an absolutely devastating combo, so it did. So, yes. This was deserved. She's meant to be defensive, not offensive. Phase, energy lance, additional damage decreased, thank fuck. Telekinetic link, cooldown increased, thank fuck. Phase is a, is a very backline support. Like, that's all I can really say. Rampage, please give me something that I can use. Because I'm sorry, but you're you're really not good right now. Boulder toss primary, cooldown changed, okay. To overall being lower, mana decreased, okay. Rumble, damage, you decreased the damage of his rumble, but increased his power scaling? I have issues, but anyway. Revenant, a battle of one decreases. Okay. Hellfire rounds. Alternate, curl straight challenge modifier increase from da 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 to da 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 Okay, yeah, so he, he get, yeah, he's going to get even more do dominant, so he is, over time, he, it'll take him a bit of time just to hit full strength, like, but Richter's up next. Mana growth, I can live with. Shock therapy, damage increased. I'll be days. Electrocution, power scaling increased again. Oh, yes, Richter's getting damage increased. Richter's getting good. The torturer himself is getting some lively. Ha is, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. You can't beat me. You can't beat some Richter, so you can't. Savvy boy! Safe and mana cost decreased. That's buff. Damage per tier increased from 50. Oh, Jesus. Said we got a big buff. And Colossal Blow, another big buff. Oh, is Shimby getting nerfed? Shimby's getting nerfed. Okay, yeah. Shimby, Shimby needed to be nerfed. Shimby is far too strong for what she is, right? So, Biting Melody, Magical Power Scaling decreased. Okay, Circle Rhythm. Shield Magical Power Scaling decreased as well. Thank fuck. She needed to be nerfed. She was far too strong for what she could do. She was in and out. She was the epitome of find me. Way too dangerous. Sparrow nerfed again. Ouch. 
Relentless positive max health damage decreased from four to three point five or uh, point thirty five. Piercing shot decreased. Inner fire side arrow damage decreased. Ouch. Oh, Sparrow got hit again. Sparrow got hit again, and Sparrow got hit again. Fay. Harvest Nell secondary damage decreased. Really, Smith receiving a small hit to her Harvest Nell's, reducing her ability to dominate certain matchups via the box in the early levels. Eee, she didn't really. Mm, unless there's something happening on the higher ends. Mm. Wraith, Peekaboo. Health damage changed from 6 and then skills up, decreased overall scaling. Knock knock and damage increased and bonus physical power scaling increased again. Wraith was already a fucking monster. See fighting a good Wraith was borderline impossible. Because Wraith would kill you in 2 to 3 shots. Cleanly. This will be interesting to look out for. The Rose buffed or nerfed. So Thrust basic attack got nerfed. Gladiator, max out, decreased. Barricade, decreased. Evade, mana cost, increased. And Spear of Nair, bonus physical power, decreased. Coliseum, decreased. Zaurus was a very potent solo laner and a very potent jungler. He was like... You can't even say Chimera on steroids. That's the problem. It was, he was Chimera if you give him a spear, basically. He was a naughty damage. Okay, some adjust, some item balance adjustments. Okay, Thunder Cleaver change from physical to magical. Thunder Cleaver damage now changed from 120. Physical, total of physical power. What? To 70 plus 40% of your total physical power. That's pretty good. Okay, Dust Devil cost decreased. Okay, attack speed decreased as well. Okay, it does give you one of the fastest DPS curves. So it is... Um, Attack speed decreased from 35 to 30. That's justified. Lightning Hawk. Physical part increased and attack speed decreased. And never really used it. Bug fix. Give me two seconds, guys.
Sorry about that there. There was a little bit of a, a, a confuffle went on downstairs. Anyway, so where was I? It was Lightning Hawk I was talking about, and then we've got Nuclear Rounds. Havoc now correctly amplifies two dr What? Okay, that's... That, that, okay, okay, that was a bug fix, okay. Uh, the quiver, multi-shot damage changed from 15 to 45 to 16 to 40. So stronger on the front end, weaker on the back end, okay. Plasma blade increases and a decrease. Okay, that's justified, but the power increase is still a little bit of a... Ooh, problematic one. Rend health got decreased again. Sky splitter has been nerfed. Again, because Sky Splitter is still one of the most busted items in the game. I don't care what you say. Storm Stormbreaker attack speed decreased. Okay, that's understandable. Tainted around, similar to Lightning Hawk, less attack speed, more power. So they really are try they really are trying to kill the time to kill. So they are. That's what from what I can see. Uh, Vanquisher penetration increased. Okay, Envy penetration decreased. Malady. My lady, sorry. Um, penetration increase, so one of the probably the strongest items in the game has now got buffed. Lovely. Infernum nerfed. Ouch. Okay, so who the hell was making care taking care of this? Can we really faster time killing scenarios against tanks and is once again seeing a reduction. Okay. Mesmer? Okay, penetration increased. Omen cost increased. Okay, physical power increased to go with it, and increased as well. So omens again a very good amp amp item. So it is bone saw. Physical power increased. Tenacity removed. Oh, they removed the tenacity off of it. Ouch. Okay. Mutilator devour max health decreased from three to two point five. Okay, that seems to be. Exp uh, that's fair, lad. Uh, combustion, magical penetration decreased. Power damage decreased. That's self explanatory. Dream binder, health increased. Okay. Noxia, magical power decreased. Good. Uh, dark matter cooldown increased from 8 to 10 seconds. Yes, because this allowed for a lot of very nasty two hit combos. I'm not even going to lie. A lot of very nasty two hit combos. Prophecy, magical strike scaling decreased. Okay, just nerfs attacks. Uh, Arcane Salvo decreased cooldown from 12 to 10 seconds. I can see why that's the case. I'm not even going to lie. Because like, in, for 10 seconds, you can get a lot of shit going. Especially if you're in a team fight. Like 10 seconds. Well, most team fights don't even last 10 seconds. But mm, you know what I mean. Huh? Right. Health bonus to magical power increased from 4.5 to or 4.5 to 5. Nice. Dawnstar, health increased. Dynamo, health increased. Everblossom, divine protection now only only applies to allied heroes, not yourself. That's shit. Uh, Frosted Lure, health increase. Armor increase. Uh, attack speed decrease. So yeah, the tanky items are getting buffed and the damage items are getting nerfed. Uh, physical armor increased. Um, base health regen increased. Tainted guard, blighted thorns, damage increased. Okay. Warden's Faith, Stalwart Reduction increased from 12% to 15%. Very nice, very nice. That there, so the overall, the overall that we can take from this here is our overall reduction to damage. Which will then lead to an overall reduction in time to kill. So I can agree with, I, I can genuinely agree with this. There's a lot of sort of hits and misses here, but there's a lot of actual, actually very good things. We will, we will see how this plays out. I can't wait to see. This should be, this should be interesting in my opinion. Hmm, this should be interesting. I do agree. Well, guys, we'll have some fun with it regardless. So we'll, we'll get back into it. We'll get back into the regular scheduled predecessor content. And we'll hopefully have a lot more fun with it. We'll just need to see. As it says, I should probably get around to starting from scratch again. But then I'll be starting from scratch every single time that a new fucking patch comes out. Because there's always something new happening. The one thing that I'm going to make very clear is Chimera is fucking untouched. It does not make a difference. Crit Chimera still carves through the jungle. So... Fight me, I guess. But yeah, I thought there's update uh, point nineteen. Uh, we'll see how it goes. 
Overall, I'm very optimistic, but then whenever it comes to this game, I'm just optimistic in general because I will give the guys at Omega that they are doing their job. I like it. So guys, hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you didn't enjoy. And remember...